The head of the White House, Joe Biden, has signed into law a bill to protect Ukraine from Russia. In particular, the act simplifies and speeds up the process of providing military assistance to the government of Ukraine to counter the Kremlin's aggression. The signing ceremony took place in Washington's Oval Office. Before the bill was signed, Biden said that Putin's war had once again brought about the senseless destruction of Europe, citing the importance of the day. The atrocities the Russians are involved in merely have no limits. I am signing this law, which is another important tool in our efforts to support the government of Ukraine and the Ukrainians in their struggle to defend their country and democracy from Putin's brutal war, Joe Biden said. The bill, which eases some requirements for the US to supply or lease military equipment to Ukraine, was passed by a bipartisan majority in the US House and Senate. The law also talks about how the US can quickly send weapons to Kyiv. The president said the US needed to continue committing resources to help Ukraine defend itself against Russia and again urged Congress to act quickly. Biden stressed several times that the United States will not send troops into Ukraine to fight, but said his administration will do everything it can to hold Russia accountable and that the United States will continue to provide military assistance to Ukraine as long as Russia continues its offensive. In the next few weeks, the House of Representatives could vote on an enhanced aid package for Ukraine, sending a bill to the Senate, which is working to confirm Biden's nominee Bridget Brink as Ukraine's new ambassador. The Lend-Lease was a wartime interference. The vast majority of the goods delivered were armaments. Monty's army in the North African desert fought with Lend-Lease Sherman tanks. After 1942, major Soviet counteroffensives were carried out with Lend-Lease trucks. What made this so unusual was that at the time the Lend-Lease program was launched in March 1941, the United States was not involved in the war. Lend-Lease was the decisive moment when the US, though not engaged in hostilities, gave up its neutrality. This forced lawyers to come up with a new term to describe the position of non-military. 